Uh, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to more Vice City. My name is Raven from the Sky. Let's I'm sorry, but I just can't swallow oh, this right on, now. come on, darling. He's hung like a sperm whale, for pity's sake. How can you not feel the part? But Stevie... How's my star director? Oh, man, the struggle between mm. the artistic integrity and the humping, pumping action <sighs> continues unabated. And before you ask, yes, all four videos will be released mm. by their... Honey, can you please keep the Andacon and the shoddy cost more per hour than you do? Oh, sorry, Steve. I was thinking, we need some kind of big stunt to really promote the launch. Mm. Something that will make a real impact on this city. You got any ideas? Well, in the old days, they used to have gala events, stars, limos, the night sky crisscross with searchlights. Searchlights. I got an idea. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, little sequin numbers and the limos. Uh, oh, mm. premieres. Oh, yes, oh. ma'am. Of course, yeah. ma'am. And mm. the press and the barrage of lights. Swing from green dot to green dot with your red square monkey. And Penetrator, where you smash the green dots deep inside the mysterious red square. The Degenitron brings arcade realism to your This is another pain in the mission. And a strange, sweaty man comes by to empty the machine on Fridays. Degenitron fighting the evil of boredom. Dry mouth. I sure do. It protects your teeth, fights infection. <laughs> Can you imagine? Jacket and tie required. No more halfway cures like coating your throat. Has anyone seen my anti kitty litter? <laughs> After a night out, my tongue tasted like carpet. It was embarrassing. Now with Salivex, I can eat a whole box of crackers or lick my life partner's stamp collection all night. It's like having a salivation army in my mouth. Now I can suck a lollipop for as long as I want. Salivex tastes like your own saliva. That's because at Salivex's state-of-the-art production facilities, you make Salivex all day. Upstairs. We are definitely serious. Welcome back to KJAC. My next guest is the star of the hit show, Just the Five of Us, where he appears as the rich father of a family of misfits. But more recently, he's working on a controversial theater piece. In the future, there will be robots. Claude, no, not. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Amy. However, you have mispronounced my name. It's Madge, which rhymes with badge. Uh, as in duh. And no, as in more than you. Madge, no. Anyway, thank you for having me on the show. It's always a pleasure to discuss my art. Yes, you're so funny. Now, Claude. You're an interesting man, if you don't mind me saying so myself. Because on the one hand, you're on the funniest show in the whole wide world, just the five of us. And on the other, you do those weird theater dance shows, which aren't funny. Yes, thank you. Technical school. I'm sure sitting here talking all day is terribly difficult. Juilliard is not. In the future, there will be robots is not a funny piece. It deals with the most important issues in the world today. Love, pain, suffering, skin-tight pants, and well-stretched groin muscles. 
But see, music has no name, Amy. It's Made about it. depth and texture and sense of community that emerges from the struggle going on within all of us. Between man and machine. Between yeah, if we follow their steps. We just come back up the steps. We don't have to go through the whole course all over again. We're in a ferocious dance competition with switchblades. Try not to that fall. Is passion. Okay, so it's a bit like just the five of us. What a show! I love Jimmy. He is so cute, even though he looks so young. I'd rather not talk about my complications working with him. I'm a performer. I express myself any way I can. While I'd never attempt to describe just the five of us as anything other than a worshipless pap, I need to support my serious art. It's like stealing a boombox to do live interpretive dance. If I bring joy to people's hearts doing an interpretation of a tree in the park, who is harmed? There is a value I derive from art as a man, as a creator. And Almost. That is this. Never overestimate the dreadfulness of the mass market, or the degrading excess of the culture, or the horrors that we all have in the world. Great, yeah. Um, me too. But as Mr. Chesterfield, you're so funny. What is it you say? Not in my house. <laughs> that gets me every time, especially after the drunken tramp you adopted as wet himself. Oh, Can God. Say it for me, please. Shoot. As they say in France. Matrice. Not in my house. Please, I came on your fine show to discuss art, not people that whore themselves out on the altar of commercial success, dancing like a puppet alongside a genetic freak. Although, I do that too. Okay, Moody. So, what do you want to talk about? Oh, I don't know. My performance at the Hollywood Bowl, perhaps. There are some that attend the concert inside. I am the concert outside myself. In the parking lot where we build bonfires and dance, it comes back to the seriousness of my purpose. At a young age, come on, man, get up the steps. On the corner, that had people weeping and lying down in the streets. It's about movement, about encouraging ordinary working class people that there is something enervating about. Oh, you got to be kidding me! Oh. Should be a bike back here. But it's not a PCJ. Pain in the butt, man. Oh, almost missed it. Yourself to a cricket in Huckleberry Finn. I'm a
The district attorney saw it that way too. Uh, I accidentally torched a quickie mart when my medication ran out. <laughs> Dilly and Furex helped me and the community by ensuring a healthy settlement from the pharmaceutical companies. Dr. Leo and Furex, we understand the judicial system and will ensure the truth is heard, no matter how improbable. We're not cheap, but what price can you put on truth? Call the Leo and Furex today at 866-974-2333. That's 866-9-SHADE. The Leo and Furex. Accidents happen, and we'll prove it. The store leading the fight against communism is having a blowout sale. Ammunition has a wide array of peacemakers. Come by Ammunition on Militia Monday to exercise your Second Amendment rights and... Tommy, Paolo here, two packs for Amico. What do you want, Paul? I don't want any fake label clothes. Very funny, mate, but you know I don't touch bank gear. No, I was just calling to see if I could get a part in one of your movies. Back in England, I did a lot of blue stuff, mate. I'm packing more weight than you, my son. Paul, thanks for the offer. I'll bear that in mind. Seriously, don't forget about me. I feel I've done for you. That's what I'm trying to forget about. Probably didn't have to come all the way back here because I gotta buy the uh, the um, print shop. Trolls question. That back see, then were a little, I'm an important person, a little too wonky for bikes, you, so. you know. It is really so it, it was a lot. It was, it was more difficult on a bike. You always would get knocked off. Or the effect is it seemed like you got the slightest gust of wind. Or well, that would knock you off versus GTA 5. You got more control. But like I said, I'm not going to be, you know, be too critical of that. I mean, it's Vice City. Came out You're 20 years like ago. You are on the show. You're so funny there, joking with the family. I'm putting out the fire started by the homeless guy and starting group hugs. But in real life, you're just plain creepy. You won't even tell us how old Jimmy is. All you talk about is Archie stuff like that nobody understands because it's complicated and how tight your pants are. That's not true. I also discussed love and passion and humanity and the. Seventy K, let's do it. Yeah. Mr. Vassetti? Hey, you bought the old print works? Yeah, my old man used to work on these. And I used to spend the evenings with him cleaning the rollers. I was gonna follow him in his trade, but I lived a different life. You planning on selling the old machinery? Breaking it down? 
I'm thinking we might print something. A newspaper, a magazine. Oh, crap, Sonny. Low-grade crap. I've always fancied printing money. It ain't too hard. You know, I've been doing it on a small scale for years. Really? Sure. But we need some good quality plates. Of course. There's a counterfeiting syndicate already operating in Florida. A syndicate? Yeah, with just rumors is all I've heard. I know a man who's good with rumors. Look at the ass on that. <laughs> oh, all right, girls, you're lost, mate, innit? All right, me old China. That's hanging. What do you know about counterfeiting? Oh, I'm fine, Paul. How about you? Oh, all right, all right, all right. You're obviously a busy man. All I know about dodgy reddies is to try and supply the plates. Ah, oh, fuck. You know, they've got a shipping company down the docks. Ah, uh, uh, the boss man would know when the plates are coming in next. Thanks, Paul. What's the matter with you, you maniac? Give me another drink, lively. in several best-selling infomercials and travels the globe speaking at corporate training camps. His books and audio cassettes are sold around the world. He is Valhalla's finest deity and motivational speaker, Thor. He's a deity. Deity. It's been a long journey. But, like, you're a Viking, right? Did the tunic and goatskin boots give you a clue, maybe? I am a Viking, and a Viking that will not only help you unleash the Furies, but unleash yourself. It's in my Thor's horsepower program. Okay, I'm a little confused. Well, I'm a lot confused. I was taught in school that Vikings were bloodthirsty and violent. An elder once told me, you must unlearn what you have learned. Of course, then he died of the Greek. There are some Vikings that are a bloodthirsty lot, yes, but no more than anyone else, really. We're a nomadic people, Amy. We have cold fire in our souls. He had that fire too, Amy. You've just lost it since you've gotten television. Now, that being said, I'll answer your question. We are mostly not violent, though many of the Vikings travel to Scotland. And mind you, anyone... Hey, yo! Hey, yo! Yo, move! Uh. It's only gonna end like this.
thinking. Just attend by Unleash the Norse within weekend. You are finished with say, I am a god. Nobody can stop me. I crush my enemies and dance on their funeral pyres. This is very helpful for living in suburbia, Amy, and I should know. I really don't understand how. Oh, it's very helpful. Maybe a neighbor is tossing his leaf on your own way, or looking at your woman, or harboring desires regarding your longboat. You enslave his children, set his house on fire, he shall not bother you again. <laughs> it must be nice to have you as a neighbor, not. I live in one place longer than me to control my girls, taking spades, valuables, and food. Goal setting is very important, Amy. All right, guys, thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel and the series grow. Take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.